Just four weeks from tomorrow, Chicago voters go to the polls to select between two black women as the next mayor. A new independent poll shows Lori Lightfoot with a commanding early lead. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely sat down with Lightfoot as the race revs up. What I'm focused on is winning votes, winning people's confidence that I have the right vision, the right experience to be able to lift this city up and forward. Lori Lightfoot, the woman who seemingly came from nowhere to win the crowded mayoral first round, is heading for the runoff with momentum. A new independent poll for a children's advocacy group shows Lightfoot at 58 percent, Tony Preckwinkle at 30 percent, with just 12 percent undecided. So you're going to start running now like a front runner? as opposed to an underdog? No, we're the underdog. There's no question about it. When you're running against somebody who has spent almost their entire adult life um, as an elected official, who is the manifestation of the machine, uh, you can never take anything for granted. Lightfoot says the federal shakedown investigations into Alderman Ed Burke and Danny Solis fueled a fire that ignited her campaign. Well, I think it was significant in really focusing people on feeling like enough is enough. I believe that we have to change aldermanic prerogative. I don't think that as a taxpayer and as a resident of the city, you have to go and kiss the ring of an alderman to get basic city services that, by the way, you've already paid for. Lori Lightfoot talks a big game, but what's her real story? And Preckwinkle has already launched attack ads, portraying Lightfoot as a wealthy attorney who's represented big money. I'm an African-American woman who has been successful. And it's amazing to me that somebody like Tony Preckwinkle, of all people, would try to turn that into a negative. I'm proud of what I have been able to accomplish because I know that I stand on the foundation that my parents laid for me. And I'm never going to be embarrassed by that. Never. Lightfoot referring there to the sacrifices of her parents, her mother, a health care aide, and her father, a factory worker and janitor. Meantime, in response to the poll, the Preckwinkle team says Tony is now embracing her underdog role, but she will come out on top, they say, April 2nd. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News.